Hi, it's Rachel. I'm feeling that there's going to be some changes that are happening. And what I mean by that is that I've been seeking, as I mentioned before, for a long time about what is really true and what you find what truth is, is always grounded in divine love, the love of divinity, the love of God. So I've been talking about that in my last, especially in my last two videos. So all of my previous videos up to that point were a lot of my journey and a reflection of my journey and my learning up to that point. And because what happens is as you're learning from God, he starts with where you're at. So whatever religion, whatever state of mind you're in, whatever the level of your soul development is, that's where he begins. And you start understanding things little by little. It's a growth. And I've gotten to the point where my understanding of who the creator is is taking on such a clearer reflection because what happens is our soul when we first start coming is full of all kinds of things that keep us from seeing clearly seeing God seeing ourselves and seeing others and ultimately that means that we're seeing them in any other way but perfect love and so everything is kind of filtered through whatever state your soul is in. So all the videos that I did prior were growing up to that understanding. So I may be hiding all of those. And the reason why is because even though it is a reflection of the journey that I've been on and I truth built, but again, it's about the reflection that I'm seeing of the Creator is amazing. It is a, such an amazing love. And because my soul wasn't in that place, I don't feel like it reflected that. Now, there's always growth. But a lot of times when people see older videos, they think all of those are still the, the reflection that you hold today which for me, it's changed a lot in a lot of different ways. So I haven't, I'm not totally sure yet, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because here's the thing, is that what I'm gonna be sharing with you about what I'm learning is what's truly needed. Anything else other than understanding what this love is and how to become a part of it is a distraction. And it's not necessary. So everything that I'm going to be talking about from my last two videos forward are everything that I'm seeing now. So it's almost like a new chapter, a new beginning. It is, it's almost like you're coming out of a darkness and you're coming into the light. Now there, I have a lot of questions because I'm learning a lot of new things in this, at the same time, that puts you in a, a place of having a lot of questions. But what I don't question is this divine love that I've been learning about because I've been experiencing it. It is truly a rock and a truth in my life that it goes very, very deep. So I want to kind of recap what the different characteristics of divine love because a lot of people talk about it right or mention it and I've um, seen it in other places but we really have to understand how is it different what does it look like and of course as I've always said that beliefs in how you believe is something that goes very very deep into your subconscious level so what I'm doing is what I've always done is say you have to seek for yourself the truth and what that truth really is and truth is what really delivers 
the fulfillment of your aspirations and your longings and your hopes in a way that is full of righteousness and what's really best for everyone, that creates harmony, that creates peace, that creates a unity and not a separation. So truth and love and go very close together. So I'm maybe removing those videos, but that's, I just wanted to let you know the reason why. And um, if there's some that you like going back to, again, you the place that you want to go for and tr how you truly learn, I can confirm and show you the way that I'm walking and it could be a way that you resonate with and that you see indeed is a path of truth. So it can be extremely helpful, but it's an individual journey. And not only that, your understanding of who God is is very individual because he's spirit. And if you are listening just to the words of another, you will always have an image and that image won't be right. What you want, you want is, is what's real. You want to really experience in him as he is. And the only way you can do that is by doing it and going through it yourself. But here's the thing is that you want, if you set out to know and really seek what that love of God is, okay, and it's far beyond a natural and human love. It's far pure and it contains so many different attributes that maybe a natural love doesn't contain because it's of divinity, it's of God, so it reflects a lot of his character. But it, what you do or what you want to do is seek what that love is. And if that is your true heart longing desire, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, will come because that is the purpose that that Spirit serves and develop your soul, prepare your soul for the inflow of that divine love. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. So if you want to really know what, how to embrace the Holy Spirit and all those other things, that's that's what it is you start seeking for that kind of love and you will start embracing him because that's the spirit of god coming to you it's a part of his spirit to do that very thing because when you abide in that in that love then you start falling into all that he desires for you so that's what we should be seeking so when it's um says seek the kingdom of heaven and all these things will be added unto you the kingdom of heaven is a place where that divine love reigns and so okay so let me address another aspect of this okay so in my past in the past videos i the bible was a very central focus in which God used to teach me. But as I've mentioned in the previous vi in, uh, previous videos, the Bible is a reflection always of the de soul development of mankind at that time. So it's not necessarily an re accurate reflection of who God is. Okay, because you see even in the Bible an evolution of people's understanding of who God is and it grows ever more loving. When you, but it's been so shown from the perspective of man that hasn't gotten there yet, that it's not quite the right reflection. So you can still learn truths. If you are seeking truly from God, he can use everything and anything in your life. And he honors that heart that is a, that true longing. Those are the prayers that go right to his ears. A true longing to know what is the truth and what is divine love in a way that you're willing to walk in it and to become it and for it to become a part of you. So if um, any tool of this earth can be very can be effective in it teaching you, okay? But you have but it's a, it's a different understanding, and that's what I learned than thinking that 
somehow that's the right reflection of God, who he truly is, is because it came through a man. And that means it's always dependent on their soul development. So if they didn't have a lot of love, then they saw God in different ways. Okay, so um, that's the thing. I think that's a very important distinction to understand. And that's true with any religion, with any kind of writing that you read at all, even if it's someone that's saying that they're getting a word from God, it's always tied to the level of their thoughts, their spiritual development, their soul development. And so that's a big part of what you're seeing. Okay, so that's why I say if you focus on really seeking what this truth is that's of God and this love that is of God and of God because it's the source, okay? Because in this world, again, people are all different levels. So if you want to get to what's really real and what it's supposed to really look like, right? And um, so that you can walk in that direction, you have to look almost beyond this earthly realm. But that's the kind of insight that the Spirit of God gives you. He gives you ability to look at this love beyond this place. It's, it's incredible. But um, anyway, I won't dive into all that. So what I'm understanding is that a lot of times when we think of heaven, you know, we're thinking of something after this life. And a reality of peace and where there is no suffering and where there is no fear and where there is no pain and where there is absolute harmony. Okay, it's because that's where divine love rules and reigns and every spirit is in accordance with that. Well, that is something that you can start to experience right now. And the only reason our world is the way it is is because of the lack of soul development of mankind. Therefore, they engage so many things that are actually counter to that love and that harmony. So if we should stop trying to look after life and way out here somewhere where it becomes unreal to us, but start to see the real amongst the unreal. And maybe I'll divide, dive into that in another video. But in this one, I just kind of wanted to give you an update of where my thoughts are and some changes that might be taking place on my videos and my blog, for that matter. Because, as I said, it's, it's like a new beginning. And it's about coming to a new place where it was like before you're groping around in the darkness. Okay, and you are learning and you are growing, but then you start to come into the light and it starts casting a whole different reflection. And that's the only place you want to be.